All right, all right, all right. Never skip leg day. You hear that all the time. This is a lower body blasting workout that I think if you do correctly, you're going to have some good blood flow and some uh, fatigue when you're all said and done with this. It should take approximately 25 to 30 minutes. First off, squats with dumbbells on your shoulders. So pick a weight that you feel comfortable doing 20 reps with. So dumbbells here, simply going to be doing squats. Easy enough, right? You can do squats down here if you want, but I'm doing it here on the shoulders for this specific workout 20 times. Then you're going to move on to reverse lunges. So start forward, step back, toe, and then drop down. One, come back, alternate. Two, total of 20. When you're done with that, move on to single leg deadlifts. For this one, you're gonna be hinging at the waist, lowering the weight down while the other foot comes back, and slowly come back up. You'll feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. This is a good one for balance, overall stability. So 10 each leg, and once you're done, repeat that circuit uh, two more times, so a total of three times. Next up, goblet squat. Now, you can hold the, the dumbbell like this or down here. Both uh, fulfill the requirement. Goblet squat, dropping down and up 20 times. Up here, 20 times. Next up, side lunges. Weights in your hands. Pick one side, step over, bring the weights to the middle, and drop down, and back, and back. Usually I start to wide, then I bring them to the middle like this. Try to keep that weight over the knee, over the foot. If it's too hard, go a little shorter, and not so deep, and then switch and go the opposite side. I have you doing that 10 each leg. Then heel raises, these are basically calf raises with your dumbbells, just gonna be up on your toes and flex and squeeze. Not too fast, this is for you to get a good workout. We don't wanna skip leg day, right? So there you go, just like that. Once you do that, repeat it total of three times. The last one I have for you, you can do dumbbell or kettle, but since I'm doing dumbbells, kettlebell, dumbbell swings. Hold it between your hands like this. You're gonna be back and out to forward. And forward. So momentum back behind you. Push through with your hips. Push through with your hips and let the momentum of the dumbbell come around shoulder height. Bend your knees and forward. Pop those hips forward. Pop the hips forward. <clears throat> 20 times. Lunge pulses. These are kind of fun. So you'll go down into a lunge position or prepare yourself for a lunge position and just short little pulses. Keep all that tension on your quads. This is a good one right here. I like to go 10 times each leg and switch. You'll feel it burning pretty good here. If it's not enough, go 30 reps. And finishing off with box squats. <clears throat> Find something that's stable enough that when you do jump on it, it won't slide. Whether you have a bench, a chair, you're outside, jumping to steps, do that. But jumps for the boxes are really simple. You swing your arms, momentum will come up, bend your knees and thrust up, landing softly on the bench and then step backwards. So I'm bending my knees, I jump up, soft and down. And down. Land with both feet, nice and soft. All right, that is my workout of the day for you. Hope you enjoy this, you find it challenging. Uh, leave me any comments or feedback below this video. I look forward to seeing those. Until next time, have a great workout. As always, 
make it count. If you'd like me to send you a new strength and conditioning workout every day for the next 30 days via video text message, then please consider joining my 3030 Accountability Club. You'll find all the details in the link below this video or by visiting endurancehour.com slash 3030 club. My club members love these workouts. They're feeling better, they're looking better, and they're having fun. Check it out. Until next time, have a great day and make it count.